Hello, Lighthouse family. Seven weeks ago, I came to you with a very difficult decision to close the doors to our church building and move to an online-only worship service. This decision was very quickly thrust upon us, and we had very limited information that we had access to. We didn't know the length of time that it would last nor the severity of the disease that we were dealing with. As the days passed by, our ministry team came up with some wonderful online ministry opportunities. I am grateful for their creativity. They worked so hard during this season. I'm also thankful for so many of you who have joined us for these ministry opportunities. We have had some wonderful times together online. From Sunday services to Zoom calls with youth and young adults and home group leaders to kids lessons and challenges, ladies, dish and devo, prayer phone calls, men's backyard Bible studies. We have enjoyed so much time together online. But it is time to move to a new season of coming together that will eventually lead us to gather once again under one roof. Today, I am here to announce that plan for the Lighthouse. I am glad to report that we have been able to make this decision with, with much thought and counsel, networking, teamwork, and prayer. Now that we have more information, we can make better decisions. While our governmental authorities are releasing some restrictions on social gatherings, we are choosing to make some decisions that is best for our church body. We are choosing to approach this time with an abundance of caution and not rush ahead. We believe that this approach will allow us to show much care to our church family, especially those that are most vulnerable. As you know, we are a multi-generational body, and we are so thankful for that. Also, given the size and the location of our church, we feel this is best. This will also allow us to be a good witness of discipline and show goodwill to our community. Our team has been working on a three-phase plan as modeled by our government. This plan will also be in harmony with the recommended practices of the North Texas District of the Assemblies of God and other churches in our area. Last but not least, the board of directors, the executive team, and the ministry team of the Lighthouse are in full agreement and support of this plan. I'm excited to announce to you phase one today. I want to first convey that through all phases, we will still offer some kind of online ministry that we've been providing. The amount of online ministry will be, produ will be reduced over time, but there are also some components that we want to continue. Again, I want to reiterate how much time we've enjoyed being together, and we want to keep this going to some degree. Phase 1A is Wednesday drive through ministry. We will begin a drive through ministry opportunity on Wednesday, May the 6th, on the church parking lot from the hours of 7 p.m. to 8.15 p.m. There will be one entrance for all vehicles to enter. There will also be an opportunity for the ministry team to conduct short two-minute frame stations of ministry for adults, kids, and youth, along with an opportunity for all to receive prayer and engage in worship at a safe distance. Ministry in Spanish will also be available. All persons will be asked to remain in their vehicle throughout the drive. At the end of the drive, through vehicles will leave through one exit. There will be someone at the exit with a bucket to receive those tithes and offering. For those of you who choose to stay safe at home, we will still offer on Wednesdays an online Bible study at 7 p.m. I am also excited to share with you our plans for Sunday service. On May the 10th, Mother's Day, we will implement a drive-in Sunday worship service at 10 a.m. on the church parking lot. Our worship team, prayer, and a message will be available. Our theme for Mother's Day is Mobile Mother's Day, and we will have an online photo challenge called Mother and Me. And we want you to post a picture using the hashtag Lighthouse at Home with your mother. Pictures with your mother can be in person or a picture of you holding a photo of your mother. The most creative photo will win a lunch for the family. We will also have a drive-in challenge that will incorporate a, a challenge to decorate your vehicle for mom with a Mother's Day theme. The most creative vehicle that shows up that day will win a prize for that day. There will be one entrance for all vehicles. This will help us with safety and organization. 
There will be designated parking for all vehicles. Service attendees will be asked to stay in their vehicles for the entirety of the service. Audio will be broadcast via radio transmitter and attendees will tune in on their car radios. At the end of the service, vehicles will be released by rows one at a time and there will be one exit for vehicles to leave. There will be someone to the exit with a bucket to receive tithes and offerings. Again, for those of you who choose to stay, stay safe at home, this 10 a.m. service will still be available online on all of our platforms. I'm excited about this plan and I hope you are too. These two approaches to Wednesday and Sunday will continue until the leadership feels it is of the best interest of the Lighthouse and our community to move to phase two and three. When that time comes, we will communicate to you all the details. Phase two and three will allow us to gather inside the building with some social distancing safety precautions that everyone will be asked to follow. Thank you for giving me your time today. I hope you receive the heart of why we are following this plan and doing what we feel is best for the Lighthouse and our community that we love so much. Although some government orders allow for churches to meet together under one roof this Sunday, we will not be. There are still recommendations from those same entities to remain cautious during this time, and this is our approach to fulfill those recommendations. Please be on the lookout for further information through all of our communication outlets, including social media, website, email, snail mail, text, and phone calls. Please know that Leanne and I love you and miss you. It is an honor for us to be your pastors. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us by phone, email, or social media. I am looking forward to continuing to love God, grow together, serve others, and extend our reach. God bless you.